ओम शांति दिस इज द अभ्यक्त मुरली ऑफ सेकेंड ऑफ जनवरी नाइनटीन नाइनटी एंड दाइटल इज द एसेंस ऑफ द टोटल नॉलेज इज अवेयरनेस टुडे द पावरफुल फादर इज सींग हिज ऑल पावरफुल चिल्ड्रेन फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर ईच पावरफुल चाइल्ड इज मूविंग फॉरवर्ड अकॉर्डिंग to his own power what is the basis of this powerful life that is the happy elevated alokic life filled with success the basis is one word awareness in fact the whole play of the drama is about forgetting and becoming aware at this time the play of awareness is being performed on what basis did bab dada transform you brahman souls he simply reminded you that you are a soul not a body and this awareness brought about so much alokic transformation everything changed did it not the specialty of human life is awareness the seed is awareness and through this seed your attitude vision actions and stage completely change this is why it is remembered as your awareness so your stage the father transformed the foundation your awareness when the foundation became elevated your whole life automatically became elevated he transformed such a small thing you are not a body you are a soul as soon as this transformation took place as soon as you had this awareness because you souls are master almighty authorities you became powerful this powerful life now feels so lovely you yourself have become an embodiment of awareness and you also remind others of this and completely transform them from what they are with this awareness you changed your world this world of god is so lovely even if you are living with worldly souls for the sake of service your mind is always in the alokic world this is known as being an embodiment of remembrance no matter what situation arises what does a soul who is an embodiment of remembrance because of being powerful consider that to be this is a game such a soul will never be afraid for powerful souls no matter how big the situation is all of those are just side scenes on the path that leads to the destination that is they are scenes on the side so you enjoyed the side scenes do you not you even go and spend money to see sight scenes nowadays people go sight seeing here in abu to if there are no sight scenes on a particular path would they like that path they would get bored similarly for souls who are embodiments of remembrance and embodiments of power whether you call them situations papers obstacles or problems they are all side scenes you are aware that you have passed by these side scenes to your destination countless times they are nothing new and so what is the foundation of that awareness if this awareness is lost that is if the foundation shakes then the whole building of your life begins to shake 
you are unshakable, are you not? The basis of all the four subjects of the whole study is awareness. The most important subject is remembrance. Remembrance means awareness of who am I and who is the father. The second subject is knowledge. You have received knowledge of the creator and creation. The foundation of that is also Baba reminding you of what you are eternally and originally and what you are at the present moment. A Brahmin who is to become an angel and an angel who is to become a deity. You have also been reminded of so many other types of awareness. So that is all awareness of knowledge, is it not? The third subject is that of divine virtues. You have also been reminded that the divine virtues are the virtues of your promise. Because you have the list of virtues in your awareness, you are able to use them according to the time. What is the result if there is a lack in this awareness? You are not able to use the virtue at a time of need. You are reminded of it after the time has passed. I did not wish to do this, but it happened. But I will not do it in the future. So, in order to put the divine virtues into practice, you need to have that awareness at that time. Sometimes you laugh at yourself because of some things. When you forget some situation or some article, what is your state at that time? You have that article, but you do not remember it at the time of need. And so you become confused. In the same way, here too, because you do not remember it at a time of need, you sometimes become confused. So then, what is the basis of divine virtues? To be a constant embodiment of remembrance. Then the divine virtues will constantly and naturally and easily be used in every action. The fourth subject is service. If you are not an embodiment of remembrance and service, that of being a soul who is an instrument and a world benefactor, you are not able to achieve success in service. You are then not able to make any soul an embodiment of remembrance through service. Together with that, service is to remind others of the self and the father. So the foundation of all four subjects is awareness, is it not? So this one word, awareness, is the essence of all knowledge. This is why Bab Dada has told you beforehand what the question of the last paper will be. It will not be a long, complicated paper. It will be a paper of only one question and only one second. What question will that be? Of being a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance. You have already heard the question and so every one should pass. Will all of you pass with number one? Or will you pass number wise? With which number will the double foreigners pass? Number one. So, should the rosary be completed? Or should a separate rosary be created? You have a very good enthusiasm. The double foreigners have a special chance to be last and come fast. There is this margin. 
if a separate rosary is prepared, you would have to live where the picnic places are. If you prefer that, a separate rosary can be made. There is a margin for you to come in the rosary. You will come. Acha? All of you teachers are embodiments of remembrance. Are you not? You are embodiments of remembrance in all four subjects. It does not require labor, does it? A teacher means to make others into embodiments of remembrance with your features of an embodiment of remembrance. Remind others through your features. I am a soul. As soon as they look at your forehead, they should see the soul sparkling, a sparkling jewel. When they see the jewel of a snake, no one's attention goes to the snake, it goes to the jewel. So, seeing such an eternal sparkling jewel, they will not become conscious of the body. The attention will automatically go to the soul. Teachers are instruments for such service. To remind those who have forgotten is your service. You are powerful, are you not? Or are you sometimes afraid? If the teachers become frightened, what would happen to the students? To be a teacher means to be an embodiment of remembrance and an embodiment of power constantly and naturally. Just as Brahma was in front, in the same way, you teachers are also in front, are you not? To be an instrument means to be in front. Just as you maintain the courage to surrender yourself for service and you became powerful. So then, what is this awareness? This is the fortune of renunciation. You have already had renunciation. And so, what is so difficult about the fortune? You have had renunciation, but that renunciation is not renunciation because you have a great deal of attainment. What did you renounce? You simply put on a white sari, that's all. And you became even more beautiful. You became angels. What else do you need? You gave up food and drink. But even doctors nowadays tell you not to eat too much. Eat a little and eat simple food. These days, even doctors don't let you eat. What else did you give up? You gave up wearing jewelry. These days, thieves chase after jewelry. It's good that you gave it up. You did a sensible thing. This is how you received the multi-million fold fortune of renunciation. Acha? Bab Dada is now remembering those in Athens. Science Symposium is taking place. They are also remembering Baba a great deal. Whenever a huge program takes place, you definitely remember the unlimited family for this unlimited task. All the children who have gone there have a courage. The courage of those who become instruments makes the task elevated and unshakable. The love of the father and the pure feelings and good wishes of the special souls are with the children. The intellect of the one who is the intellect of the wise makes everyone an instrument for getting his work done. This is why you must become carefree emperors and become a lighthouse and might house to spread the vibrations of pure feelings and good wishes. Bab Dada is giving personal love and remembrance by name to each serviceable child. Acha, 
to the constantly powerful souls who are embodiments of remembrance, to the special souls who experience all situations as a side scenes by becoming embodiments of remembrance, to the Mahavir children who spread the waves of remembrance everywhere, the same as the father, to the Maharathi children who pass with honors at a fast speed, Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Avyakt Bab Dada, meeting a group from the Delhi zone. Do you always remain happy seeing your fortune? Do you constantly sing songs of wa wa? Have the songs of the cries of distress finished? Or do waves of sorrow still come sometimes? You have become detached from the world of sorrow and become loving to the Father, and therefore waves of sorrow cannot touch you. Even if you are living with your family for the sake of service, you live like a lotus. A lotus flower doesn't leave the muddy water. It is in the muddy water, but it is detached. So, have you become so detached? The sign of being detached is that you will be loving to the Father according to the extent that you are detached. You will automatically experience the Father's love, and this love of God will become a canopy of protection. Those who have a canopy of protection over them remain so safe. What can anyone do to those who have the canopy of God's protection over them? Therefore, maintain your spiritual pride that you are those who remain under the canopy of God's protection. You don't have arrogance, but spiritual intoxication. If there is body consciousness, arrogance will come. Whereas if you are soul conscious, there won't be arrogance, but there will be spiritual intoxication. And where there is spiritual intoxication, there cannot be any obstacles. There can either be worry, fikr, or spiritual intoxication, fakur. The two cannot exist together. Bab Dada is bound to provide the best dal and roti for you. He will now give you 36 varieties of food every day. But you will definitely receive the dal and roti of love. This is guaranteed because no one can prevent it. So, what do you have to worry about? People in the world have to worry about providing for themselves and also for their generations after them. So, neither will you starve, nor will your generations after you. What else do you need? Do you need Dunlop pillows? Will you be able to sleep with a Dunlop pillow in bed if you have a sleep of worry? If you are carefree, then even if you have to sleep on the floor, you will be able to fall asleep. Make your arms your pillows and you will be able to sleep. Where there is love, even dry chapatis will feel like 36 varieties of food. Therefore, be a carefree emperor. The sovereignty of remaining carefree is the greatest sovereignty of all sovereignties. If you put on your crown and sit down on the throne and continue to worry, then is that a throne or a pile? So God, the bestower of fortune, has drawn the line of elevated fortune on your forehead. You have become carefree emperors. You are not the emperors with that hat, position, or chair. You are carefree emperors. Do you have any worry? Do you have any worry about your grandchildren? You have benefited 
and so they too will definitely benefit. So, always continue to see the line of elevated fortune on your forehead. Wow, my elevated godly fortune. It is not a fortune of wealth. It is godly fortune. Compared to this fortune, wealth is nothing. Debt will follow you. Just as a shadow follows you automatically, or do you ask it to follow you? So, all of those things are shadows. But this fortune is godly fortune. Always maintain this intoxication. If you are going to attain something, it has to be something that will be permanent. Since the Father and souls are imperishable, why should the attainment be perishable? The attainment also has to be imperishable. Brahman life is a life of happiness. To eat in happiness, to live in happiness, to speak in happiness, and to do all the work in happiness. As soon as you wake up and open your eyes, you experience happiness. At night, when you close your eyes, you go to sleep comfortably in happiness. This is Brahman life. Acha? Bab Dada meeting a group from Pune and Bidar. Every day at Amrit Vela, do you eat Dilkush Doli? Those who eat Dilkush Doli at Amrit Vela every day remain happy throughout the day and others also become happy on seeing them. This is such nourishment that no matter what situations come, this nourishment of Dil Kush will make the situation very small. It will make a mountain into cotton wool. This nourishment has that much power. Those who are healthy and strong physically will easily be able to overcome all situations, whereas those who are weak will become scared over small things. In front of weak ones, situations become a big thing, whereas in front of strong, powerful ones, situations like mountains become like cotton wool. So to eat Dilkush Doli every day means that your heart will always remain happy. There are so few days of this alokic happiness. There is a difference between the happiness of deities and the happiness of Brahmins. You will not experience this godly happiness of a Brahmin life, the experience of super sensuous joy, even in your deity life. So, celebrate with this happiness as much as you want. Every day, consider it a day to celebrate in happiness. Your happiness has increased by coming here, has it not? Then it will not decrease as soon as you go down the mountain, will it? Now it is your flying stage, and then you will continue to eat from all that you have attained. So, always have the awareness that you are those who eat the Dilkush Doli, and you also serve it to others because the more you give, the more it increases. Look, everyone loves to see happy faces. You would not like it if someone had a face that showed peacelessness and sorrow, would you? Since you don't like that type of face on others, you shouldn't like yours to be like that either. So. Always continue to serve with a happy face. Do the mothers do such service? Your family members should be happy on seeing you. Even if others consider the path of knowledge to be bad, 
when they see the life of happiness, they will definitely feel in their mind that you have found something that makes you stay happy. Even if they do not say anything externally, because of their arrogance, internally, they do feel it. And they will eventually have to bow down. Today, they insult you. And tomorrow, they will fall at your feet. Where will they bow down? They will definitely have to bow down and say, Oh Prabhu, they will only bow down when you have such a stage. When others bow down in front of someone, it is because that one has some greatness or some specialty because they are bowing to that specialty. No one would bow down just like that. It should be visible that no one else has a life like yours and that you always remain happy. Even in a situation of crying, you should remain happy. Your mind should remain happy. Not that you just continue to laugh loudly, but your mind should be happy. What do the Pandavas think? Do others have that experience or are there only a few such experiences at the moment? Those who remain happy in themselves do a lot of service through their face. Whether you say something in words or not, your face will automatically reveal your character of knowledge. So just remember that you have to eat dil kush doli and also serve it to others. Those who eat it themselves cannot remain without feeding that to others. Acha. Blessing, by knowing the feelings in the mind through your stage of manmanabhav, may you become an embodiment of success. The children who remain stable in the stage of manmanabhav can also know the feelings in the minds of others. No matter what their words are, continue to practice knowing what their intentions are. By understanding the intentions in each one's mind, you will be able to fulfill their desires and whatever attainment they want. When you do this, they will become imperishable effort makers and in a short time, a lot of success and service will be visible. Then, instead of you being effort makers, you will become embodiments of success. Slogan, at the time of going to sleep, hand everything over to the Father and become empty, become free, and you won't have wasteful or vicious dreams. Om Shanti